Shape baby. Let's not look like we got lip gloss in in uh, um in these man purses. Let's look like there's a pistol in there. Let's have a little madness. Let's have a little bit of thugness to our walk. This is getting real nasty. This is getting disgusting out here where this is going with all of this stuff, man. You guys are going way overboard when it comes to this um, whole zestiness and the whole look. Now, the other day on the Boy Shape Baby and we are back with another review. And today, we here with the West Coast. Yeah, we on some West Coast shit today. 100%. Yeah, I found a guy all up in the reels by the name of Jay Franks. Now, this guy, I don't like comparing songs too much, but sometimes you have to. So, the your point that you're trying to get across to the people, so they can understand a little bit more. So, I think this song has kind of like a Travis Scott vibe, if you ask me. You know what I mean? It has like that West Coast. This is the type of crowd that I think that this song is going to attract to, if you ask me. That's why I'm saying this. Because it attracted me the same way. When I heard it, I got that type of vibe. I was ready to party. I don't drink lean or pop ease and all that. But I was definitely ready to smoke some gas to this song. I'm not going to lie. So, tell me what y'all think. Here's a new song by my man Jay Franks. The video is unbelievable. I also look for quality in videos too. Because if the quality in the video is good, I, I, I assume that you spent money on your video. So, therefore, I feel like you're spending money on your career. So, when I do reviews, I like to look for the quality in the video and the actual sound of the song. So this is a song that I found by my, by my man Jay Franks. Hopefully me and Jay Franks will get to do an interview one day, but definitely here's a song that I found for the review and it's fire and it's up. Tell me what y'all think. It's your man Jay Franks. Shape baby. In my zone, I try to tell y'all that shit is fire. Shit is different. Try to tell y'all, give me that vibe, that Travis Scott vibe. You know what I mean? It gives it a different vibe, but you can't front. Every artist, believe it or not, they don't make songs. When you hear me say these comparisons, because I've done this before, because I've done this before, especially in the reviews, I don't say that the artist is actually coming to the game trying to sound like them. I don't care if you were Michael Jackson. You know who inspired probably Michael Jackson? Probably, the, I would say like probably The Temptations or something like that. You know what I mean? Elvis or whatever. You, think, you know what I'm saying? So everybody has an inspiration to write music and you know, have something that give a vibe. Even producers that I know that I work with, my man LV. We be in the crib, we hear a song, we like it, we vibe. Next thing you know, our shit is sounding somewhere near it, but it's not called biting, it's something called a vibe. That's what you understand. I've heard niggas come to the song with beats that sound like um, goddamn Dr. Dre or sound like Swiss Beats. It was a vibe. Because if you listen to their catalog, the other hundred sound totally different. You know what I mean? 
Sometimes you might want to beat that sound like a Dr. Dre beat, but Dr. Dre himself couldn't even have made that sound that this person came up with because he had a Dr. Dre vibe. See what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. This song reminds me of some Travis Scott shit. And I think this song is going to be big in the game. Shout out to Jay Franks. Shout out to the whole West Coast. You know, this is definitely smoking music. This is definitely platform work. It's your man Shea Baby. Go stream, run it up. Jay Franks, you know what it is. Shea Baby.